Dermakaya by H. P. Blavatsky, read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. This explanation is taken from H. P. Blavatsky's Theosophical Glossary, published in 1892. Dermakaya, a Sanskrit word literally meaning the glorified spiritual body, called the vesture of bliss. The third, or highest of the trikaya, three bodies, the attribute developed by every Buddha, i.e. every initiate who has crossed or reached the end of what is called the fourth path. In esotericism, the sixth portal prior to his entry on the seventh. The highest of the trikaya, it is the fourth of the buddhakshetra or buddhic planes of consciousness, represented figuratively in Buddhist asceticism as a robe or vesture of luminous spirituality. In popular northern Buddhism, the three vestures or robes are 1. Nirmakaya, 2. Sambhogakaya, and 3. Dermakaya. The last being the highest and most sublimated of all, as it places the ascetic on the threshold of Nirvana. H. P. Blavatsky then refers the enquirer to page 96 of the Voice of the Silence Glossary, for what she terms the true esoteric meaning. The entry in the Voice of the Silence Glossary is as follows. The three Buddhic bodies or forms are styled Nirmanakaya, Sambhogakaya, Dermakaya. The first is that ethereal form which one would assume when leaving his physical. He would appear in his astral body, having in addition all the knowledge of an adept. The Bodhisattva develops it in himself as he proceeds on the path. Having reached the goal and refused its fruition, he remains on earth as an adept, and when he dies, instead of going into Nirvana, he remains in that glorious body he has woven for himself, invisible to uninitiated mankind, to watch over and protect it. Sambhogakaya is the same, but with the additional luster of three perfections, one of which is entire obliteration of all earthly concerns. The Dermakaya body is that of a complete Buddha, i.e. no body at all, but an ideal breath, consciousness merged in the universal consciousness, or soul devoid of every attribute. Once a Dermakaya, an adept or Buddha leaves behind every possible relation with or thought for this earth. Thus, to be enabled to help humanity, an adept who has won the right to nirvana renounces the Dermakaya body in mystic parlance, keeps of the Sambhogakaya only the great complete knowledge, and remains in his Nirmakaya body. The esoteric school teaches that Gautama Buddha, with several of his arhats, is such a Nirmanakaya, higher than whom, on account of the great renunciation and sacrifice to mankind, there is none known.